Bienvenidos al Precio Correcto. Estimados público, tenemos un programa llamado Un Precio Correcto. Ese precio correcto trata de, de buscarle venta a un vehículo marca Yukon. Y nuestro primer concursante o oh, este comprador se los voy a presentar aquí presente bien público pues vamos a llamar a nuestro primer concursante que está ahorita bien en camino y ya está presente aquí vamos a preguntarle creo que trae aquí el nombre se llama Yasmín bien este Señora Jasmine, a ver, danos, dinos un poco de ti. Hello, my name is Jasmine. I have a YouTube channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, unos saludos a mi primo Armando, a su esposa Vero, a los niños. Ya, ya, ya. Creo que es suficiente, querido público. A ver si puede aparecer otro cliente más aquí interesado por el Yukon. Y ya les expliqué las condiciones, acá se encuentra. Así que si hay otro interesado por ahí, desbalagado, por favor. Ok, Yasmin. Entonces, este, tú, como eres la interesada, me vas a decir cuánto crees tú que valga ese carro Yukon. Mira, el problema es de este carro Yukon, es que no le sirven los vidrios. como que no, entonces va a ser necesario llevarlo con el mecánico, pero yo creo que no te sale muy caro ahora que si estás interesada en, en, en quedarte con él ¿cuánto crees tú que puedas dar? ok, so yo pienso que el valor de la troca es 2000 muy bien correcto Yasmin señores Yasmin, usted es la ganadora yeah. Okay, the things that you will need is a colored shirt, any color that you prefer, and then find a piece of a large paper that is similar to the color you're going to wear. Like, I'm wearing this blue shirt, which clearly is not the same blue, but it's still in the blue family. You'll need a black Sharpie or black tape but I don't have any I forgot to buy some so we're just gonna improvise a pencil for your outlining scissors for cutting and then you're gonna need yellow paper for your name tag if you can find a name tag that looks like the price is right then you're better off but this is what I had the scissors were already here in my house the pencil was already here in my house the permanent markers, the paper, and the smaller papers. They were each a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And my shirt I already had. So this is a super duper affordable Halloween costume. I'm gonna start off by cutting the paper. It's way too big, but it is wide enough for my size or for anybody's size. But then it's just way too long, if that makes sense, you know, from the height. So what I'm going to do is I, I am going to measure it by two of these. So I started off by measuring this up here. So all the way at the top, like that. So that's one. And then I'll, I put my finger right here. And then I bring it down. So this is how much I'm going to cut all of that. And if you have a ruler, it's so much better, but we're improvising, you know? So I'm just going to outline. And hopefully by the time we are done, this is straight. And if it is not, it is okay because it is an affordable Halloween costume.
ignore this line if you can see it we're gonna just follow this line right here and we're just gonna cut it so this is gonna be the back side so if we mess up it's okay because it's the back so we're just gonna cut straight and then we'll go on to the next step so now that I've cut it I'm using the extra paper as a ruler I highly recommend you get a ruler if possible I just completely forgot to get one so what I'm doing is I'm using it to make a strip on the side now if you have black tape it's gonna be a lot better I don't have black tape so I'm using a black sharpie to color so this is basically what you're gonna come out with and you're gonna do this on this side the long side the next side and down until the entire border is black and then we will move on from there so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I mean so you can see I'm gonna go ahead and I'm doing like maybe an inch so kind of like that and I'm using the side that I didn't cut so it's more even okay, that's maybe like half an inch and then what I do is I'm just like leaning on the paper so it doesn't move. You will need many black markers, let me tell you. So this is what the final product should look like. Well, not this is not the final, you know, we still have to add the numbers. So the numbers you can write yourself or you can stick them on there like if you wanted to change them up or whatever but I mean honestly are you really going to do that on Halloween be changing numbers clearly not so you can just choose whatever number you want you can just write zero your lucky number whatever we will do that later next we are going to move on to this we are going to do the name tag so the name tag is a yellow color so I'm just going to use yellow and I didn't realize that this paper is very flimsy, but I mean, you know, for a dollar, what can you expect? So what we are going to do is we're going to make this edge right here into like a price tag situation. You will see what I mean momentarily. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little bit on this side and this side. And here and then I'm gonna do the edges so that I can do the name tag so I'll show you what I mean again if you have a ruler it's much better so I'm just gonna cut off that much And you just wanna you just wanna angle it. So maybe to like right there. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing we did to the blue paper. We're gonna draw we're gonna color it black around the borders and then we're gonna do a small little circle right there and then you just write your name and you are set to go so there you have it you draw a little a little uh hole right here a black one and then you write your name the name tag is finished that is what it looks like and then you can either safety pin it to your shirt or whatever you're wearing or you can tape it which is what I'm gonna do you know finish off your sign for your like your numbers the numbers are actually supposed to be white but uh, of course you know we're improvising so you can you know really use whatever you want you know make it your own so I'm gonna go ahead and do the numbers with a red marker I thought about blue but I think like blue blue and black is like kind of too much so we'll just do the red and I'm just going to go ahead and put 2,000 since that is how many subscribers I have. Well, I have like 2,000 and some change, but you know, we'll just keep it simple. We are done, guys. This is super affordable Halloween costume. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
like subscribe and share this video and i'll see everyone in my next video bye hey guys i hope that you guys like this video i know you guys love my papa and i hope that you guys uh tag me if you do recreate my costume and i hope you guys had a good chuckle and i'll see everyone in my next video hasta pronto público querido nos veremos la próxima vez